Georgia's public schools face a critical teacher shortage. Fewer high school graduates are enrolling in teacher preparation programs. About 44% of new teachers leave the field within five years. And Georgia continually seeks teachers from out of state or from other careers to fill vacancies. This means that many students at Georgia's classrooms are left without a qualified teacher. Educators, school districts, and legislators bear responsibility for workforce development for public education. We must encourage talented students to become teachers, expand the teaching as a profession pathway in our high schools, and support it with weighted CTAE funding, sponsor future Georgia Educators Clubs, and formalize mentor support throughout the pipeline, especially in the early years of a new teacher's career. Enrollment trends are a little bit disturbing right now. For the most part, those have declined over the past, oh, say, five to 10 years. And one of the reasons that they've declined is because the teaching profession perhaps is not as valued by uh, just our citizenry as it once was. I think veteran teachers, there just seems to be a lack of admiration in current times. It, se it just seems like we're, they're not as well respected in our communities. And I know that's part of the reason why I want to become a teacher because I respect them so much. When the teacher cadet program reconnected me to like my former teachers, all of them said run, don't do it, you don't want to be a teacher, choose something else. And they really just said the reason was all the high stakes, there's a lot more pressure than they had before. A lot of people have tried to discourage me actually, and I don't think that they do it, um, I don't think they're conscious about it. Most of the people say you have to deal with attitudes from students and attitudes from parents and you go home and you work and you don't get paid for it. When I told my friends I want to be a teacher, their first response has always been, oh, you want to be a PE teacher and a coach? No, I want to be a teacher. If I coach, that's great, but I'll be a, I want to be a teacher first. I want to be able to go into the classroom and help these students, you know, build them up and you know, teach them, be there for them, you know, be, be a listening ear when they need it, and provide anything that I can for them. Now, do I want to coach? Yes. You know, you're an athlete, you want to be part of that, that sport, but that is not my first job as an educator. Ongoing intentional support in the first years of a teacher's career are critical to his or her success and increases the likelihood that the teacher will stay in education for a full career. Mentoring and the whole induction experience, typically about three years, is critical to the success of a early career teacher. In fact, first year teachers are classroom ready, but they're not total professionals at that point. We recognize that if someone is in the classroom for five or six or maybe seven years, they're only beginning to develop the understandings that we really expect. It's very important that we continue to pair credible seasoned teachers with our new teachers to share those ideas to support one another. Uh, we know that research tells us they need to make it through those first three or four years and have a successful three or four years and feel, feel um, that they are making the gains they need to make uh, as a professional. It's been incredibly important to have a mentor as a new teacher. Uh, it's been helpful in a variety of ways. Um, as a new teacher, you know, you come through college and they tell you the things that you need to know in order to instruct your students and be able to teach them, you know, create your lessons, but what they don't teach you is what's behind the scenes, you know, the paperwork that you have to do, you know, things that you need for field trips, and just having someone that's been there, done that, to bounce these ideas off of, and to make sure that you have what you need, and you're doing the things that you need to be doing, has been incredibly beneficial. Mentorship is very important to me because you know, some teachers stick with one way and think that that way is the best way, but really to be an educator, you always have to be self-evaluating. You have to look what's best for the student. Your way might not always be the best way, so you need to reach out to others who have done, who have had years of experience. Maybe there are some new teachers who can give you different ideas, different 
methods to input in your classroom and they're really just a support as well. If you're not sure, you can always ask your teammate. I know I can go to my teammates that wouldn't say, oh my goodness, that lesson was awful. What do I need to do differently? And I take that and I critique it and the next year I come back stronger than ever. The mentorship program is really important. I know that it was for me um, because it's definitely overwhelming coming in. Um, even after all the experiences that you've had in the classroom, having to take control of your own room. Anyone at City Park will tell you that number one classroom manager is Edgar Nava. And getting to spend a year with him as a student teacher and then get to work with him as a fifth grade teacher my first year teaching was a godsend. You know, just seeing how he relates to the students, the relationships that he has, and getting that full year to see how he manages his classroom and then be able to implement those strategies into my classroom has been incredibly beneficial. Uh, to this day, I haven't had any behavioral issues so far, so it's working so far. The Teaching as a Profession Pathway, or TAP, provides relevant real-world experiences for high school students considering a career as an educator. Teaching as a profession is a wonderful opportunity for students to learn about the career of education and to develop a mindset that would be appropriate as an entry point into a College of Teacher Education. The TAP experience is really a wonderful opportunity for high school students to explore this career of education. Without those experiences, they come to the university uh, believing what teaching is like without really experiencing it from the other side of the desk. When they're in the TAP program, they have the opportunity to observe in classrooms, perhaps co-teach with a fellow educator. That makes a world of difference. I think back to when I was in high school. I knew I wanted to become a teacher, but um, there was no pre program like this in Alabama. When I got to college, I had to learn everything they're learning now. And I had to learn how to talk in front of people, and that was the most difficult part for me. If I had had this program um, in high school, I think I would have uh, done a better job. It would have prepared me. Growing up in New York, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher because I enjoyed learning and I seemed to be the friend that my students, that my friends always wanted help with for school, but I wasn't really sure. So when I moved down here, I found the amazing TAPS program and it allowed me to actually see what it was to be a teacher. Students who haven't had any experience with the TAP program didn't really know a lot about class management. They didn't know how classrooms should be arranged and quite honestly, if you've never stepped foot in a classroom, you don't know how a classroom should look. Mentorship is important to these students in many of the dual enrollment education classes that I get a chance to teach. They come in poised. They come in when they're doing some teaching lab exercises saying, I talked to my mentor teacher from my high school teacher pipeline classes and he told me that this would be a great lesson to give. I know when I did my student teaching in college, I always got a lot of positive feedback. You know that term we always hear, with itness, that I kind of knew what was happening, knew where to be in a classroom. And I really think a lot of that was just that early exposure. Well, as soon as I got into student teaching, I wasn't flying totally blind. Things I've learned in this pathway in particular was, you know, how to do a lesson plan. Let's say this student learns different from this student. You really have to accommodate and be flexible. She taught us that um, how to be an efficient teacher, what you need to have in your classroom, how to react to different situations and students, how to, you have to get to know your student. I learned the different teaching strategies, how to work with different students, how you should set up your classroom to help the students and help yourself. With this program, um, it's like we are growing our own. One of the benefits of the teacher pipeline is it has given students real-time, real-world experience with students, high school students working with elementary students in real-time with a teacher right there mentoring them along the way. They find out very quickly 
um, whether that is something that they think they want to spend the rest of their life doing and whether or not they want to spend their college years focused on that. Future Georgia Educators, or FGE, provides extracurricular experiences for students to connect with other students in their school and region who are considering an education career. I think one of the, the major things that uh, we did that we saw the most benefit from was incorporating uh, organizations or clubs like Future Georgia Educators as early as the middle school. FGE is sponsored by the PAGE organization, the Professional Association of Georgia Educators. The focus, again, is just to introdu introduce the teaching field, get to see different colleges, what they have to offer as far as pathways for it, and then become involved with what, what kind of their next steps are. Um, enjoy being introduced to it, and then what? Well, now you can take some classes in high school, okay, and then that leads to classes in college. Um, and, and so again, just kind of giving that essence of the pipeline uh, that was established. The Future uh, Educators Day that is uh, sponsored by PAGE, those have been tremendous experiences where we bring actually almost a couple hundred uh, students each year from our whole region. They come here to the campus so they have the opportunity to engage in mock classes with some of my colleagues here so they get a sense of what it's like being in an education class. They always have an inspirational speaker in the beginning, and that speaker always motivates them um, or encourages them to become a teacher or um, any professional in the educational field because we have more than just teachers. We have administrators, counselors, school nurses. There's so many different fields. The great thing about FGE, if a student can't get into the class, um, the TAP program, because of a scheduling conflict, they can at least join the club. With the club, we do a lot of things after school. We volunteer at the elementary school. Um, we help them with different activities like their fall festival, their after school program. One of the successes of our homegrown teacher program has been uh, aligning and matching a faculty liaison with the school where those programs are located. Because what we're trying to do is we want to have people see the development of the education profession as really a partnership between school systems and colleges of education. And really, it's more of a one-on-one, -on -one personal type of experience. I was actually placed in my student teaching internship at the, the beginning of fall last semester. And um, I've been in the same classroom since then. So I've gotten to learn the students really well. Um, I've had opportunities to work in small groups um, and even teach the whole class. And since January 3rd of this year, I've taken over full responsibility of the classroom. I was paired with a mentor who, um, she was a teacher who did not believe in teaching behind the desk. She would get up, walk around, and interact with her children, with the students at all times, and it just, good experience showed me that passion was like the main thing that you had to have for the job, because anybody could teach a subject, but it takes passion to actually want to get it through to the students. When I got a chance to do micro-teaching in front of the class, I was right at home. I love when I can go in and get a topic in biology and be like, yeah, this is how you do it, and they're like, wow. I think that personally, education is, if not the most, one of the most important professions that exists. Um, we are encouraging and teaching and providing opportunities to people who are gonna become doctors and lawyers and astronauts and all of these other things. And so I think that there needs to be a focus on this profession, even in high school. There needs to be a a focus on this profession um, by government officials because it is so valuable. When I think about how to support our profession more, I think that the, uh, the TAP program certainly could benefit from some type of funding. There are many school systems that across our state are really looking at the teacher career pathway as an option for students, but because of the funding differential with other uh, CTAE programs, they don't see it as a viable option.